So what's going on in the housing market in Orlando? That's what we're talking about today and we're starting right now. Hi there, what is up? I'm Kathy Williams, residential realtor here in Orlando, Florida. And if you're interested in the Orlando lifestyle and all things real estate, then you might wanna to subscribe to my channel and click that bell, and that way you won't miss out on any upcoming videos. So today I am talking about the Orlando housing market. Just a little update for you. And if you happen to be seeing smoke or smelling smoke in this area, that is because of the hot, hot, hot housing market that's going on right now it is on fire we have so many buyers right now looking to buy homes in the orlando area and guess what that creates a seller's market so the sellers are in the driver's seat right now so before we get started i wanted to show you a little market statistics and things that are going on so let me get ready for that Did you like that? I know a lot of people are really into numbers and statistics and some people it's a snooze fest. So I thought it'd make you feel comfortable if you happen to be one of the latter. So let's just dive right into a, maybe my little easier way of explaining it without all the numbers and the charts and the graphs. I will give you charts and graphs with my hands. How's that? So right now, the uh, big thing that's driving the housing market is the low interest rates. Right now, for example, I had a client who just closed on a house last week and they got two, yes, you heard me right, 2.5% interest rate. That's insane. And that's the lowest in my lifetime I've definitely ever heard for a mortgage. When I bought my first house, it was at 8%. Hmm. That was a long time ago. And I'm thankful that we're not in those numbers right now. Anything south of 3% is insane. If it's three or 4%, it's still amazing. So if you are thinking of buying right now, it's a great time to buy. Also refinancing is a great time. It's just great for either or. So that's driving the housing market. Also, there's been so much pent up demand. It has been a seller's market for quite a while because of the low inventory. And just to give you an example, this time, last year Orlando had three months worth of inventory and we were all screaming about the low inventory and there wasn't enough homes to look at well at this point in Orlando there's a two months uh, inventory of homes so what this does is it really creates a big-time sellers market we have lots of buyers lots and lots of buyers and very very few sellers so that's my graph lots and lots of buyers very few sellers so if you're a seller again you're in the driver's seat you are going to be able to pick whatever offer that you want and in most cases if your house is priced correctly and it's a cream puff which a cream puff is a home that is just in perfect condition inside and out looks amazing everybody's gonna love this house then there's it's gonna get multiple offers and right now we are getting multiple offers a lot in Orlando so you know selling a house right now is probably a terrific idea and I know people would really appreciate it because there's so many people looking now, Lawrence Young, the chief economist for the National Association of Realtors, did predict that this year's housing prices would be higher, um, actually instead of lower, even considering the COVID. He predicted a 1% increase in housing prices. And I can tell you that in Orlando, we are looking at a three to 5% increase in housing prices. And again, in those situations where it's multiple offers, it's way more than that on those multiple offers. You're looking at five to 10% over asking price sometimes. So it's just something to consider when you're looking at homes in the Orlando area, or if you're thinking of selling right now, 
great opportunities are out there. If you're a buyer, it's incredible with that low interest rate. If you're a seller, you're gonna get the best price ever. So um, that's basically what I wanted to let you know about the market. We are looking good. I do look at foreclosures in the Orlando area a lot, and right now there's just no foreclosures. There's absolutely no reason to foreclose on your property right now if you are in a situation, an unfortunate situation where you would need to sell your home you would be able to put it on the market and get it sold before it would even come near being a situation of being in foreclosure. So even if the number of um, people who needed to sell their homes because they could no longer afford them for whatever reason um, due to you know unforeseen circumstances, there are so many buyers out there that would be able to grab up these homes and they would not have to sell at a discounted price even because you know right now the demand is so high. So truly, truly a great market right now. I'm very grateful and if you have any questions about the Orlando real estate market, Market, don't hesitate to reach out and ask me. I'm always happy to answer any questions and be sure and stick around. This video might be great for you. Share this video, like it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.